Now to the latest CDC report that now finds one in 31 children here in the U.S. have autism up from 2020 numbers. Health and Human Services Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is facing backlash for comments that he made this week about autism and blaming that uptick in the number of kids with it on environmental causes. But health experts say we're also just getting better at diagnosing it. Autism Society of Mahoning Valley Executive Director Stacy Baycorn joins us now to weigh in. Uh, Stacy Kennedy Jr. describes autism as a preventable disease um, and he says he is outlining a plan right now to determine if the cause of it is by environmental factors. He hopes to have results out by this fall, at least some of them. How have these comments rippled through the local community and also within the families that you help directly? Thank you, Lindsay. Um, it has definitely been an interesting time being in the autism space because autism is a complex, lifelong neuro neurodevelopment condition that varies greatly from person to person, suggesting that its causes can be singularly identified and solved within a short and specific time frame, not only oversimplifies the science, but also risks spreading misinformation. This can lead to false hope, misplaced fears, and a stigma for every individual that we seek to support within the Autism Society of the Mahoning Valley. And when you see the CDC's report on the 1 in 31 children diagnosed with a form of autism, which is up, some health experts say we're just getting better at diagnosing it. Would you say that that goes along with what you're seeing locally in the healthcare arena when it comes to treatment and then deciding, you know, is a child on a spectrum and then where on the spectrum they may be? I would 100% agree that the more research that we have, we're having better identifying and knowing early detection. We're also realizing that there are more adult cases that are being identified as well. But one thing that we are seeing no matter what is that support and services cannot wait. No matter what the numbers are, no matter what the cause of autism is, autistic individuals and their families are in need of greater access to the cares and services and support now more than ever. And what are some of the most common misconceptions about the factors that could lead to autism in a child? What have you heard and what does the research say so far? See, this is a very vast and very big conversation I don't think we would have time for, but current research points to multiple contributing factors. Uh, the consensus supports that autism results from a combination of genetic and environmental influences. There is no known single cause, and it is unlike, unlikely that a single factor can explain all causes of autism. And what are the signs maybe that a parent of a newborn or an infant, toddler, age child need to be watching for, in your opinion, before they go seek medical care? Are there any signs? I say that parents intuition is going to be the best thing. If you're noticing any type of emotional disconnect, if you're noticing any neurological delays, those are the things that you want to be on the lookout for and making sure that you are talking with health professionals at all times. And what are the top resources that you could offer to a family that's starting to go through this, they're not sure how to navigate it? What do you have that maybe that you recommend starting with? So we have our information and referral director is on call within the Autism Society. So anything that a family might need from time of diagnosis till end of life, the Autism Society is here because our mission is grounded in ensuring that all individuals on the autism spectrum, regardless of where they fall, because we're talking about not so high needs and then very high needs, the support and opportunities that they need to thrive. While scientific research into the causes of autism continues, our focus must remain on meeting the immediate needs of our community the families individuals deserve access to early intervention, inclusive education, quality therapies, and meaningful employment opportunities. Access is the key to unlocking the potential that exists within every autistic individual. And real quick, where can people go to find out more resources about what you offer? Sure, autismmv.org or follow us on social media. Okay, Stacy, thank you so much for joining us as we watch this story develop. Thank you. Thank you.